I'm Maria. Welcome back to Pink and Sun Classroom. Firstly, please allow to introduce a new friend, Miss Velna. She has been working in customer service center of King Kunsan for more than 10 years. Hello, Fiona. Please say hello to everybody in classroom. Thank you, Ria. Hello, everyone. This is Fiona from King Kunsan. Okay, today we will continue to talk about the Lepidoptera insecti pest. Fiona, is there any trouble caused by Lepidoptera insect in your market? Yes, you ask the right person. This year, Tutabsaluta infestation is very serious on tomato, especially in Asian markets. Farmers are very headache because their tomato fields are full of Tutabsaluta. Tomato plants and fruits are damaged and cost more than 30% of the yield loss. I know Tutabsaluta is a serious, invasive, and destructive insect pest of tomato. The common name is tomato leaf miner. Juta absoluta is the Latin name. It originated in Peru and was first reported outside of its native range in 2006 from the Spain, then rapidly spread throughout other European countries, Africa, Middle East, and Asia, and many other countries. In tech open data shows that Tuta absoluta is threatening about 87% of worldwide tomato production. If Tuta absoluta is not effectively controlled, the tomato year loss can be up to 100% due to the injuries on leaves, stems, and fruits. Tuta absoluta can also infest and damage other crops like potatoes, eggplants, and peppers. According to IPM Innovation Lab report, Tuta absoluta management cost is at least 415 euros per hectare. Fiona, do you have more feedback from farmers about the local situation of Tuta absoluta? Yes, uh, we find that Tuta absoluta can affect tomato throughout the entire crop circle from seedling to fruit maturity. Damages caused by Tuta absoluta are mainly on leaves and fruits of tomato plants. On tomato leaves, the larvae feed on the mesophyll tissue inside forming irregular leaf mice which may later become necrotic. Larvae can form extensive mice in the stems which alter the normal growth of the plants. Tomato fruits are also attacked by the tutabsaluta. The larvae also burrow into the fruit forming galleries. These galleries represent open areas for inter-invasion by secondary passengers leading to fruit rot. Yield loss can reach up to 100%. Yes, that's why Tutabsuluta is not easy to control. The larva lives inside the leaves, fruits, and stems, so the common control method is not effective, and the female mouse has very strong reproduction ability to lay 250 to 300 eggs in her whole life. But the life circle from egg to adult can be very short, only 24 days, when temperature is between 20 centigrade to 29 centigrade. A female mouse can produce about 10 to 12 generations per year. Wow, that's really a big finding. So what is the recommendation we can suggest to farmers? Firstly, it's recommended to clean or remove the sources of tuta absoluta infestation for creation. Then, we can use pheromone traps to monitor the infestation situation. When the infestation pressure is low but likely to increase, we can choose biological control like natural enemies or biopesticide like BT products. But when the infestation pressure is high, chemical control is necessary. Ria, could you uh, suggest some effective products for chemical control? Sure, we can choose from the following insecticides, including flubenzuramide, chlorantranili pro, sabenoturan, sabenoside, clofenipir, methoxicab, lufenurin, and nivamectin benzoate. 8 According to Tutab Suluta, Kinkunsan has developed an effective product, Kiss Tuta Off. It can control Tutab Suluta within 24 hours by 100% death rate. 
If you are interested, we can recommend this product to your clients around the world. Thanks, Ria. That is very useful for to top saluta culture. Ria, I have another question about the differences between uh, tomato leaf miner and American leaf miner. Could you introduce more information? Okay, let's look at this picture. We list four kinds of leaf miners. They are potato tuber monks, tomato leaf miner, potato leaf miner, and American leaf miner. Firstly, we can see that potato tuber monks and the tomato leaf miner are the kind of monks. They are in Lepidoptera order, while potato leaf miner and American leaf miner are the kinds of leaf mining flats. They are in Deptera order, so the appearances of adults are quite different. Secondly, the damage is caused by the larva of potato tuber monks and tomato leaf miner are forming silver brown, short, and white warm holes on the both sides of leaves, while the damage is caused by larva of potato leaf miner and American leaf miner are forming gray white, narrow, and long tunnel only on front of the leaves. So we can use this method to identify the different kinds of leaf miners. For American leaf miner, we can choose serotonin pro, serumazine, and abramectin products for chemical control. Thank you, Ria. All right then, and this is all for today. Hope this video can help you have a new understanding of Tutab Saluta. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have more questions regarding the Tutab Saluta, please leave us a message down here below in the comments. And King Queen Song will try to provide you with more information regarding the pesticide industry and pest control. King Queen Song, focus, focus on, on your harvest. harvest.